you will never move the needle if you don't have this game of productivity under your belt and a system around it. Revenue producing activities first. See, you thought I'd start with this if you've listened to some of my training calls, but I'm really, I'm, I'm on number three here because you don't really know what your revenue producing activities are if A, you're not in an environment to produce, and B, you don't even know what you're strong in. You're sort of a mess at that point. So now that we've gotten the two out of the way, and these do work sequentially, by the way, now it's all about revenue producing activities. Revenue producing activities mean you doing the things first in your business that will produce the most revenue. Because as an entrepreneur, you have your first responsibility is profit. And don't let anybody tell you different because you're not in business if you're not a profit-minded entrepreneur. You're running a hobby. And although that's fine and good, but I don't think any of you came here to build a hobby. I think you came here to build a business, and if you want to build a business, you need to build some profit into your business. So revenue producing activities first. So this is knowing what moves the needle the most for you. Knowing what moves the needle the most for you in your business. Most times it's going to be marketing. I mean, at the end of the day, if we're not bringing in leads and we're not making sales, there's probably not a whole lot of revenue happening. So you need to figure out a way to find the items in your business that you need to be doing first thing in the morning that drive the most revenue. If it's an e-commerce store, if it's an affiliate marketing business, if it's you in consulting, the very first things you need to tackle in the day are the most important things. But what do we normally do? We like to tackle the easy things. We like to sell ourselves on, well, I'm just kind of tired still and I'm easing into my day, so I'll start with the little administrative things. And next thing you know, you're the guy in the video. And you're at the grocery store at 11, and then you're watching the Twilight Zone at 11, and you go, you know, I'll get to it tomorrow. You don't want to be that guy. Right? So you have to know what it is for you, and you have to tackle it first, and it's usually uncomfortable, and you need to delegate the rest so that you can create leverage. You need to become a really good delegator if you want to become really productive. And this is resisted a lot in entrepreneurship. It's resisted a lot because we like to do everything ourselves, and we don't like to, let, we don't like to give off control. Right? How many of you feel like when you give off control, you feel like you lose some control? Initially, that's true. But if you can shake that, realize that by losing control, you're gaining control, all of a sudden, you have more time to make more money. And the third piece here is you must have a team. You have to have a team. You can only stay on an island so long building your business. We talked a little bit last night about some of the stories you tell yourselves about money. Did you guys enjoy Wealth Night last night? Sure. That was good, right? We talked a lot about the stories you tell yourself about money. This is, this, is, this is one of those areas. When I am making more money, I will then hire a team. Wrong. So that I can make more money, I need to hire a team. Right. I don't know how I'm going to get the money because maybe I don't have great cash flow, but I do know that I'm going to find the money because when I build the team, more money will show up in my life. Get it? It's a huge paradigm shift. A lot of what we're talking about today is about paradigm shifts in language because what you say leads to what you do. You keep saying, I can't, I won't, I don't know how, I'm not ready. All of that leads to action of doing nothing. Okay? So, I don't have money for a team right now isn't the statement. The statement is, what do I need to do to build a team right now to take my business to the next level? It's not a money conversation. It's a resourcefulness conversation. 